So today I'm doing a drugstore beauty haul and I actually went with my sister Wendy um, which by the way I know last time I didn't tell you guys her YouTube name but her YouTube name is Wendy Teresita and she is my sister and we were actually thinking about filming a my sister does my makeup a blindfolded tag so I thought that's going to be a lot of fun because we're going to be blindfolded and it could get a little dangerous but I'm going to do it to her and I'm going to put it in my channel and then she's going to do my makeup blindfolded and we're going to put it on her channel so we're thinking about um, filming next week today is Friday so hopefully like Monday or Tuesday so I also asked you guys on my Instagram and if you do follow me on Instagram you probably saw like a little sneak preview of all the things that I picked up at CVS and sorry but my necklace keeps falling because it's a little heavy I'm gonna begin I'm just gonna randomly take out things from here I picked up these dual and uh, cotton tip applicators for beauty and these are actually just cotton um, I'm sorry cotton tip applicators for the eyes. So these are actually pretty cool. These are a little bit different because they have a pointy edge and then they have a flat side with like a square tip. It's a little weird, but I like the side where the um, Q-tip is kind of pointy just because I can really clean up or get like a really nice clean edge. And then I also picked up Not Your Mother's. Um, She's the Tea's Volumizing Hairspray, infused with apple blossom and bamboo. So this is just a new product that I'm trying out. I actually tried one of these products before. I don't remember what it was, but I got it in a goodie bag and at this event, and I don't remember what it was, but it was green at the top. But since I do a lot of um, I do a lot of teasing in my hair, I wanted to try this product out, and it's specifically for teasing your hair. So this is gonna be kind of cool to try out so let's see how this works hopefully I can feature it in one of my videos so the next thing that I got is the Sally um, Hirschberger hyper hydration this is a super keratin spray rehab for stressed out locks you guys know that I have uh, not the most damaged hair but my hair is not the healthiest and I've been using actually, um, let me talk about this one, this is the Fakai Glossing Cream and I started to use their uh, glossing shampoo and conditioner and it's made the world of difference to my hair. And to be honest, like typically I'm not the type of person that really believes in shampoos and conditioners just because my hair, I've tried so many different brands and my hair always seems to look the same and never changes until I started using the Fakai Glossine um, shampoo and conditioner and I really loved it. My hair was a lot more manageable and I think I'm, act I'm actually going to include it this month on my favorites because last month um, I purchased it kind of towards the beginning of the month so this month actually so I didn't want to I wanted to try it out for a whole month to tell you guys how I really feel about it but I've been washing my hair with it for three times already and it's made such a difference my hair looks shinier healthier it's more manageable it doesn't look brittle and it just also removes all the buildup so I went to um, and I picked them up at Target but then I went to CVS and I saw the glossing cream and um, you can use it for wet or dry hair. Just take a pea size and it's just supposed to glossen up your hair. Just make it a little bit more vibrant and a little bit more healthier looking. So I'm excited to try this one out since I do love the shampoo and conditioner. Seriously guys, love it so much. Uh, but anyways, back to this. Um, just like I told you guys, I went ombre. If you guys can tell a little bit. I went ombre and... Um, that kind of damaged my hair, but at the same time, I was like, you know what? I never really experiment with my hair. I always go the same, either really black, blue black, pitch black, or I do like a dark brown or something like that, or like subtle highlights, but I never go all out crazy, so that's why I decided to go ombre, and actually like when I first got it, it wasn't what I wanted, but my hairstylist said that it was going to get a little bit lighter as the summer progressed. Um, just because the natural sun rays kind of lighten it up by itself. So I'm actually really happy with the outcome now. I feel like it's a lot more blended and a lot more natural looking. So um, anyway, so that's why I decided, decided to get the soft, uh, this product here because it's supposed to make your um, dry hair look a little bit more um, softer. It conditions and repairs and it calms frizz and flyaways. If you have, if you have 
um, damaged hair, you're gonna have a lot of flyaways up here, a lot of baby hairs like I do. So I think that's why I always have some crazy ass baby hairs. It's because um, my hair is kind of damaged all the time. And you know what? I don't even know why because I was not the girl in high school to dye my hair every single time and change it a, a billion times. I, I don't know why. Well. I've done, I've, I've, I used a lot of heat, I guess. That's probably why. Anyways, so then the same brand, I saw this, and this is um, a texture hairspray. It's supposed to kind of give you some beach waves. And it's also a heat protectant. So this is kind of cool. I'm excited to try this out. And, um... Yeah, let's move on to the rest of the stuff. Okay, so this is the Airspun. This is a loose face body powder. No, I'm sorry, not body, face powder. And I got it in translucent because that's the one that I like. They have, you know, um, the other ones with a little bit of color if you kind of want like foundation powder. But um, I use it to set my makeup and I am obsessed with this thing. I've used it for so long. Um, I think it's been around since 1935 and I actually, I know some of my friends on YouTube, they actually tell me that their grandmothers and mothers have been using this product for a long time. But the thing about this one is that um, now they have a new packaging which I totally love as opposed to the other one because this one is plastic. It's plastic. It's, um, and then you just take the lid off like that. You don't screw it on or anything. You just kind of pop it out like this. And then you get a little powder puff right here so just kind of blot your face. And then, this is the part that I like the most, is that it has a little sifter. It has a bunch of little holes. It comes with a little sticker so you can just peel it off and then just kind of um, put it into the lid. But what I recommend doing so this product lasts you a lot longer, just take a sanitized needle and then just poke like six to eight different holes. Um, and don't take this, don't take the sticker out, just poke six to eight different holes. That way bacteria doesn't go into the powder because if you take it off, bacteria has a higher chance of entering your powder and then it's going to not last you as long as they could last you because it's a lot of product that you get in here so it's better to take care of it so um so yeah let's move on to foundation um you guys know also that I'm like you guys know everything but you guys know that I love trying out foundations many different sorts of foundations and specifically the ones from the drugstore just because not only are they affordable but I found some amazing foundations um, the ones that I love the most are by Revlon specifically the Revlon color stay liquid foundation I absolutely love it um, so I was really excited when I saw the commercial with Halle Berry and they came out with the Revlon color stay whipped foundation and I'm an NC40 by MAC as of right now in the summertime. Um, usually during the summertime, like towards the end, I get like an NC42 a little bit darker. Um, but I am a 320 warm golden, which is what I got, and it's an exact match for my skin, uh, for my skin tone. So this, I already tried it out two times because like I told you, the haul was like from last Monday to today's Friday. So I've only used what's on the lid and I take I take like my MAC stippling brush but not the 187. I think it's like, oh, I forgot what the name of it of it was but it's really small. Um, it's a stippling brush. It's short little little hairs and they're really tightly compacted in there. But I like to just kind of stipple it onto the lid and then just you know, stipping along my face and then just kind of buff it out and it gives me a really nice flawless application. I also like that it's buildable coverage um, and it's definitely full coverage and it says it's supposed to last up to 24 hours. I was not about to sleep with my foundation on but I did put it on at 10 a.m. and then took it off around 10.30 at night and it lasted the whole time. So I think it might even go up to 24 hours but I like that it's not, it didn't leave me oily and I didn't have to touch up with powder as much as I do with some other other foundations so overall I feel like I give it a four star out of five just because it's not my favorite but I do love it so it's close to being my favorite so um so yeah um okay so next I picked up these three little baby lips by Maybelline and they're just little tinted um, lip balms some of them are clear but they smell delicious I ended up getting the purple one which is my favorite one this is called peach kiss and the reason it's my favorite not only does it smell amazing but um, it kind of gives your lips a little bit of a tint so it hydrates kind of smooths out your lips and it just feels good when you put it on um, and I love that they're called baby lips so um, yeah and then I picked up the blue one which is uh, I think this is quenched and it also smells amazing this has more of a fresh smell and then you have something spearmint I think yeah peppermint which is the green one and 
it does smell like um, peppermint so the one that I wanted was actually the pink one as well but it, I know it's their best seller so I, they didn't have it at my CVS so hopefully I see it next time um, so moving on to nail polishes on my fingertips um, I really love this pink it's kind of like a bubblegum pink this is by Revlon and this is a new product this one is called sugar glaze and it does smell really sugary because these nail polishes are scented not all of them but they have a little sticker that says that it's scented it's supposed to like you can scratch it here to test it out but I didn't even smell it anything and then I opened it at the store and it had a really strong smell of nail polish like alcohol like it just it smelled really strong so you don't get that scent that it's supposed that you're supposed to smell until you put it on your nails um, and then you smell them and they're like Mmm, sugary. And then this one here is called um, Apricot Pastry and it's supposed to also be a scented polish. Um, but this one is more just kind of like a peachy, kind of nude um, uh, nail polish that you can just put on your fingertips and make your fingers appear a little bit longer. If you have really short, fi uh, short fingers, I don't have short fingers, mine are actually pretty long. But um, yeah, pretty color and I'll see if it actually smells because they smell the same when you open up the bottle. I don't know, it doesn't smell peachy. You guys know I love Essie nail polishes. I picked up this green one. This is called Mojito Madness. And I cannot wait to try this one out as well. I'm really into greens and mossy and mints and stuff. And then I went with a Sure Shot, which is a kind of like a pearl finish, hot pink or magenta. And there it is. And then this one... I, the only thing is I'm disappointed with, well I'm not disappointed, but this one is just the glitter uh, nail polish and it's called a cut above, but this is what happened, I actually have to go back and return it, if I can open this thing, because, ooh, or maybe it's, see, it broke off, I can't, the nail polish part, I would have to glue it myself, but I think that's too much. I should just go and return it. These I am really excited about. These are by Sally Hansen, and these are the real nail polish strips. But they're not for your fingers. They're actually for your toes, which is why I'm really excited because I am such a fan of the Sally Hansen nail polish strips because not only it's real nail polish, lasts to you up to 10 days, and you can get so many cute designs on your fingertips without struggling like to actually get the cool design on your nail. These are so awesome, and I was always wondering when they were going to come out with the ones for your toes, because I used to take the biggest one and just put it on my, um, on my big toe, and then paint the other ones like a different color, and it looked really cute. So now for summertime, this is going to be amazing, because I wear a lot of sandals and open toe um, heels, so I ended up getting these different prints. Uh, four different ones. This one, Enhanced Tooth, with this is called Puppy Tooth, actually. And it's one of my favorite ones. And then I got this one. It's kind of, it's called Snake Rattle and Roll. It's a snake skin, snake skin print, print. And then I ended up getting Terrific. And this one has a cute name. This is called Strike a Poise, which is just flowers. So I thought the name was really adorable. So I'm really excited about these and I cannot wait. I actually just got a pedicure, so I have to wait a few more days so I can take the nail polish off and do it myself. Uh, because I did a little design, it has a rhinestone and like the rhinestone is really hard to take off. So um, yeah, so now moving on. Um, I also picked up the Accents by Ardell. These are my favorite lashes just because they're just small accents that you put on the edge of the edges of your eyes just to kind of make them a little bit longer, um, a little bit, whoa, a little bit more flared out. And they're easy to put on. You can wear them every single day. These are the type of lashes that you're not going to feel like you have lashes on. It's just going to look like you have really nice lashes. Um, they're easy to put on and I just absolutely love them. They're so worth it to me. So these are the 305 in black. And then these I'm excited about. I actually tried to film this yesterday, but it was a little darker, so dark outside, so the lighting wasn't its best. So uh, I actually had some lashes that were stacked together yesterday, uh, different ones. Um, but I have some new ones here. These are the 203s, and these are called Double Up by Ardell. And 
Basically what they are, they're two lashes in one strip so you get a nice clean application because sometimes when you want a really dramatic look and you want to stack your lashes, sometimes it's really hard to get them nice and even. So this is already done for you. It's just one single band and you put it on and you get, these are a little bit more wispy looking but the ones that I had yesterday were really thick and full and like dramatic and they were cool. So. Um, yeah, that's basically all I have to show you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed my little drugstore beauty haul, and you can also follow me on Instagram if you guys want to see sneak previews, because sometimes I also went to Sephora, and I'm not going to film a haul because I already went a few days ago, and a few weeks ago actually, but I do hauls on my Instagram. I just put pictures of the stuff that I purchased, sometimes if I don't do a video, so that's really cool to know. And yeah, my, Dulce, my blog, dulcecanny.com, a Twitter, Facebook, and what other social media? Hmm. Well, those are the ones that are really important to me. So, oh, my other YouTube channel as well. Um, I still have to update it with the, the magic dates because we're doing a book club on the magic and I have to update some dates. So anyways, I'm actually about to go to the mall, which is why I'm sort of ready right now, but I'm still casual because um, we're going to do some shopping for Father's Day and maybe I can pick up some other goodies or maybe I can do a fashion haul because I haven't done a fashion haul. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you later. Bye!